he has created. The woman is God's pinnacle of creation. She's the most beautiful thing on earth. Nothing comes close to the beauty of the creation of the woman on earth. I mean, what do guys get addicted to looking at the internet? Like sunsets, you know, flamingos, you know. Oh yeah, my mom caught me looking at waterfalls on the internet. Oh, I'm so embarrassed, yeah. I'm, it's the woman. And you look in the book of Genesis, the woman is presented in the second creation account as the crescendo of creation, whereby God creates the sun and the moon and the stars and the dirt and the worms and the bugs and the, the animals and then the man and then the woman. And when Adam first beholds the naked body of Eve, he is in awe. He sees Eve and he's like, you know, this one at last is flesh of my flesh and bone of my bones. He's like, whoa, man, that's where we get woman from in Hebrew. Well, not really, but, um, <laughs> but, but he's in awe. And you know, what's interesting is like Eve sees Adam. She doesn't see anything. She doesn't say anything. She's like, eh, that's nice. It's like, come on, man. You know, but there are. There is a uniqueness in the beauty of the woman. And I think the beauty of the woman in her primordial form, John Paul II says, when Adam first saw Eve, it was her naked body that was an invitation to him to love her, to make a total gift of herself, himself to her, and a love that is free, total, faithful, and life-giving. It was an invitation of love. But because of original sin, the invitation sometimes gets twisted where we see the beauty of the woman is more of an, almost an invitation to lust. And I think women, you need to understand the male psychology. John Paul said, women to understand modesty must first have insight into the male psychology.